Cebu City, officially the city of Cebu, Cebuano, Dakbayan sa Cebu, Filipino, Lungsod ng Cebu, is a first-class highly urbanized city of the island of Cebu in the central Visayas region, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 922,611 people, making it the fifth most populated city in the nation and the most populous in the Visayas. It is the capital, seat of government for the province of Cebu, but is governed separately from it. The city is a significant center of commerce, trade and education in the Visayas. Located on the mid-eastern side of Cebu Island, it is the center of a metropolitan area called Metro Cebu, which includes the cities of Carcar, Danao, Lapu-Lapu, Mandao, Naga and Talase, and the municipalities towns of Compostela, Consolación, Cordova, Lilon, Minglanilla and San Fernando. Metro Cebu had a total population of 2,849,213 as of 2015, making it the second most populous metropolitan area of the nation after Metro Manila in Luzon. The city is the first Spanish settlement, the country's oldest city, and the first capital of the Philippines. It is considered as the fount of Christianity in the Far East. It is the second city of the Philippines after Manila. Cebu is the Philippines main domestic shipping port, and is home to about 80% of the country's domestic shipping companies. Cebu City is bounded on the north by the town of Balamban and the city of Danao, to the west by the city of Toledo, on the east by the cities of Lapu-Lapu and Mandao and the towns of Consolación, Lilon and Compostela, and on the south by the city of Talisay. Etymology The name Cebu came from the old Cebuano word Cebu or Cebo, trade, a shortened form of Cinebuang Hingpit, the place for trading. It was originally applied to the harbors of the town of Sugbu, the ancient name for Cebu City. Sugbu, in turn, was derived from the old Cebuano term for scorched earth or great fire. History Founding Before the arrival of the Spaniards, Cebu City was part of the island Rajanate and trade center of Palua Kong Diang or Kangdaya, literally, the islands which belong to Daya, now better known as the Rajanate of Cebu. It was founded by a prince of the Hindu Chola dynasty of Sumatra, the half Malay and half Tamil, Sri Lume. The name Sugbu, shortened form of Kong Sri Lume in Sugbu, literally, that of Sri Lume's Great Fire refers to Sri Lume's scorched earth tactics against Muslim Moro raiders Magalos. Spanish period On 7 April 1521, Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan landed in Cebu. He was welcomed by Raja Humabon, also known as Sri Humabon or Raja Humabara, the grandson of Sri Lume, together with his wife and about 700 native islanders. Magellan, however, was killed in the Battle of Mactan, and the remaining members of his expedition left Cebu soon after several of them were poisoned by Humabon, who was fearful of foreign occupation. The last ruler of Sugbu, prior to Spanish colonization, was Raja Humabon's nephew, Raja Tupas d. 1565. On 13 February 1565, Spanish conquistadors led by Miguel López de Legazpi together with Augustinian friars whose prior was Andrés de Urdaneta, arrived in Samar, taking possession of the island thereafter. They Christianized some natives and Spanish remnants in Cebu. Afterwards, the expedition visited Leyte, Cabalian, Mazawa, Cumagan and Bohol where the famous Sandugo or Blood Compact was performed between López de Legazpi and Datu Sikatuna, the chieftain of Bohol on 16 March 1565. The Spanish arrived in Cebu on 15 April 1565. They then attempted to parley with the local ruler, Raja Tupas, but found that he and the local population had abandoned the town. Raja Tupas presented himself at their camp on 8 May, feast of the apparition of St. Michael the Archangel, when the island was taken possession of on behalf of the Spanish king. The Treaty of Cebu was formalized on 3 July 1565. López de Legazpi's party named the new city, Villa de San Miguel de Cebu, later renamed, Ciudad del Santísimo Nombre de Jesús, 
In 1567 the Cebu garrison was reinforced with the arrival of 2,100 soldiers from New Spain, Mexico. The growing colony was then fortified by Fort San Pedro. By 1569 the Spanish settlement in Cebu had become important as a safe port for ships from Mexico and as a jumping-off point for further exploration of the archipelago. Small expeditions led by Juan de Salcedo went to Mindoro and Luzon, where he and Martín de Goiti played a leading role in the subjugation of the kingdoms of Tundan and Celudong in 1570. One year later, López de Legazpi departed Cebu to discuss a peace pact with the defeated Rajas. An agreement between the conquistadors and the Rajas to form a city council paved the way for the establishment of a new settlement and the construction of the Christian walled city of Intramuros on the raised remains of Islamic Manila, then a vassal state of the Sultanate of Brunei. In 1571, the Spanish carried over infantry from Mexico, to raise an army of Christian Visayan warriors from Cebu and Iloilo as well as mercenaries from the Tagalog region, and assaulted the Sultanate of Brunei in what is known as the Castilian War. The war also started the Spanish Moro Wars waged between the Christian Visayans and Muslim Mindanao, wherein Moros burned towns and conducted slave raids in the Visayas Islands and selling the slaves to the sultanates of the Malay Archipelago and the Visayans fought back by establishing Christian fort cities in Mindanao, cities such as Zamboanga City. On 14 August 1595, Pope Clement VIII created the Diocese of Cebu as a suffragan to the Archdiocese of Manila. On 3 April 1898, local revolutionaries led by the Negrents Leon Calat rose up against the Spanish colonial authorities and took control of the urban center after three days of fighting. The uprising was only ended by the treacherous murder of Leon Calat and the arrival of soldiers from Iloilo. On 26 December 1898, the Spanish governor, General Montero, evacuated his troops to Zamboanga, turning over government property to Pablo Mejia. The next day, a provincial government was formed under Luis Flores as president, General Juan Climaco as military chief of staff, and Julio Urente as mayor. American occupation and World War II The signing of the Treaty of Paris at the end of the Spanish-American War provided for the cession of Cebu along with the rest of the Philippine Islands to the United States until the formation of the Commonwealth era 1935-46. On 21 February 1899, the USS Petrel PG-2 deployed a landing party of 40 Marines on the shores of Cebu. Cebu's transfer to the Commonwealth government was signed by Luis Flores although others, most notably General Arcadio Maxilom and Juan Climaco, offered resistance until 1901. Governor W. H. Taft visited Cebu on 17 April 1901, and appointed Julio Lorento as the first provincial governor. Juan Climaco was elected to that office in January 1904. After having remained a town since its original founding in 1565, Cebu became a chartered city on 24 February 1937. Many other Philippine cities, such as Dansalan, now Marawi, Iloilo City, and Bacolod City, were also incorporated at that time. See Cities of the Philippines. Along with the rest of the country, Cebu came under Japanese occupation during WW. Two. The Japanese encountered some opposition there from guerrillas and irregular forces led by Col. James Cushing and the Cebu Area Command. It was finally liberated with the battle for Cebu City in March and April 1945. The Military General Headquarters of the Philippine Commonwealth Army and 8th Constabulary Regiment of the Philippine Constabulary, active from 3 January 1942 to 30 June 1946, was stationed in Cebu City during World War II. Present day Colon Street, the oldest national road in the Philippines, is the center of a dense and compact area in downtown Cebu City that was once the heart of Cebu City's shopping and business activity, with fashionable shops, restaurants and movie houses. In the early 1990s, much of this activity shifted to the more modern and more diverse business districts located in almost all of the urban areas of the city, including in what was considered residential and leisure neighborhoods. Colon also serves as a transit point for public utility jeepneys Pudge covering arterial routes within the city. Geography 
Cebu City has a land area of 315 square kilometers, 122 square miles. To the northeast of the city is Mandao City and the town of Consolacion, to the west is Toledo City and the towns of Balamban and Asturias, to the south is Talisay City and the town of Minglanilla. Across Mactan Strait to the east is Mactan Island where Lapu-Lapu is located. Further east across the Cebu Strait is the island of Bohol. Barangays The city comprises 80 barangays. These are grouped into two congressional districts, with 46 barangays in the northern district and 34 in the southern district. The three most populous are Guadalupe, greater than 61,000, Lahug, greater than 38,000, and Tisa, greater than 37,000. Climate Cebu City has a tropical monsoon climate under the Köppen climate classification. The city has a lengthy wet season and a short dry season, with only the months of March and April falling into the latter season. Average temperatures show little variance during the year with average daily temps ranging from 27 degrees Celsius 81 degrees Fahrenheit to 29 degrees Celsius 84 degrees Fahrenheit. The city on averages experiences roughly 1,700 mm of precipitation annually. Local government being a highly urbanized city, Cebu City, along with Lapu-Lapu City, is independent from Cebu Province. Its electorate do not vote for provincial officials. There were proposals during the time of Governor Emilio Mario Osmeña to establish an administrative district that would be independent from Cebu City. This would mean carving out Cebu City's capital site Barangay, where the provincial capital and other provincial offices are located. The plan, however, did not go through and was even followed by other proposals like the transfer of the capital to Balamban. Cebu City is governed by a mayor, vice mayor and 16 councillors, 8 representing the northern and 8 representing the southern region. Each official is popularly elected to serve for a three-year term. The chief of the Association of Barangay Captains also serves in the city council. The day-to-day -day administration of the city is handled by a city administrator. Current city officials 2016 to 2019 Mayor Tomas Osmeña LP Vice Mayor Edgar Labella Una 17th Congress House of Representatives 1st District North Raul Del Mar LP 2nd District South Rodrigo Avalenosa LP Demographics the population reached 799,762 people in 2007, and at the 2010 census, the city's population had grown to 866,171 in over 161,151 households. The most recent census data on ethnicity, based on the 2010 census, shows that the vast majority of the city's population speaks Cebuano. Religion Christianity in the form of Roman Catholicism is the predominant religion in Cebu for about 80% of the population. The remainders are divided with various Protestant faiths such as Baptist, Methodists, non-denominational, Iglesia ni Cristo, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Mormon, Jehovah's Witnesses, Seventh-day Adventist and other Christian groups. Other religions include Islam, Hinduism and Buddhism. Within the city is the Cebu Taoist Temple, a Taoist temple located in Beverly Hills. Economy Saboom, a portmanteau of Cebu and Boom, has been used to refer to the rapid economic development of both Cebu City and Cebu Province in the early 1990s, with Cebu City. S proximity to many islands, beaches, hotel and resorts, diving locations and heritage sites, high domestic and foreign tourist arrivals have fueled the city's tourism industry. Due to its geographic location, accessibility by air, land and sea transportation, Cebu City has become the tourist gateway to central and southern Philippines. Its port, Port of Cebu, is the country's second largest port after Manila. The city is a major hub for the business process outsourcing industry of the Philippines. 
In 2013, Cebu ranked 8th worldwide in the Top 100 BPO Destinations Report by global advisory firm, Thalens. In 2012, the growth in ITBPO revenues in Cebu grew 26.9% at $484 million, while nationally, the industry grew 18.2% at $13 billion. Avoidas Equity Ventures, formerly known as Cebu Pan Asian Holdings, is the first holding company from Cebu City publicly listed in the Philippine Stock Exchange. Ayala Corporation, through its subsidiary Cebu Holdings, Inc. and Cebu Property, both publicly in the PSE Index, developed the Cebu Park District where the mixed-use development zones of the Cebu Business Park and Cebu IT Park are located. Both master-planned areas are host to regional headquarters for various companies in the banking, finance, IT and tourism sectors among others. Shipbuilding companies in Cebu have manufactured bulk carriers of up to 70,000 metric tons deadweight DWT, and double-hulled fast craft as well. This industry made the Philippines the fourth largest shipbuilding country in the world, with a revenue growth rate of 18.8% in 2012. The real estate industry is the fastest growing sector in Cebu. With the strong economic indicators and high investors. Confidence level, more condominium projects and hypermarkets are being developed in the locality. The South Road Properties SERP, is a 300 hectare 740 acre, prime property development project on a reclaimed land located a few meters off the coast of Cebu's central business district. It is a mixed use development that will feature entertainment, leisure, residential, and business processing industries. It is registered with the Philippine Economic Zone Authority PEZA, and is funded by the Japan Bank for International Cooperation JBIC. Traversing the property is a 12-kilometer four-lane highway known as the Cebu Coastal Road that provides the motorists with a good view of Cebu's south coast and the nearby island of Bohol. Ayala Center Cebu is a shopping mall at the Cebu Business Park. More than 85,000 people visit this mall every day, with the figure increasing to 135,000 daily on weekends. Culture Cebu City is a significant cultural center in the Philippines. The imprint of Spanish and Roman Catholic culture is evident. The city's most famous landmark is Magellan. S. Cross. This cross, now housed in a chapel, is reputed to have been erected by Ferdinand Magellan for now Magalhaes, when he arrived in the Philippines in 1521. It was encased in hollow tindalo wood in 1835 upon the order of the Augustinian Bishop Santos Gomez Marañón to prevent devotees from taking it home chip by chip. The same bishop restored the present template or kiosk, located at Magallanes Street between the City Hall and Colegio del Santo Niño. Revered by Filipinos, the Magellan's Cross is a symbol of Christianity in the Philippines. A few steps away from Magellan's Cross is the Basilica Menor del Santo Niño, Church of the Holy Child. This is an Augustinian church elevated to the rank of basilica in 1965 during the 400th anniversary celebrations of Christianity in the Philippines, held in Cebu. The church, which was the first to be established in the islands, is built of hewn stone and features the country's oldest relic, the figure of the Santo Niño de Cebu, Holy Child of Cebu. This religious and cultural event is celebrated during the island's cultural festivities known as the Sinulog Festival. Held every third Sunday of January, it celebrates the festival of the Santo Niño, who was formerly considered to be the patron saint of Cebu. This patronage was later changed to that of Our Lady of Guadalupe after it was realized that the Saint Niño could not be a patron saint because he was an image of Christ and not a saint. The Sinulog is a dance ritual of pre-Hispanic indigenous origin. The dancer moves two steps forward and one step backward to the rhythmic sound of drums. This movement resembles somewhat the current sulog of the river. Thus, the Cebuanos called it Sinulog. When the Spaniards arrived in Cebu, the Italian chronicler Antonio Pigafetta, sailing under convoy with the Magellan expedition, offered a baptismal gift to Hara Amahan, wife of Raja Humabon. She was later named Juana, the figure of the Santo Niño. The natives also honored the Santo Niño de Cebu in their indigenous Sinulog ritual. 
This ritual was preserved but limited to honoring the Santo Niño. Once the Santo Niño church was built in the 16th century, the Christianized Austronesian natives started performing the Sinolog ritual in front of the church, the devotees offering candles and indigenous dancers shouting, Viva Pit Señor! In the 1980s and 2000s, the city authorities of Cebu added the religious feast of Santo Niño de Cebu during the Sinolog festival to its cultural event. Music Cebu City is regarded as the birthplace of the Bisrock genre. The term, Bisrock, was coined by Cebuano writer Januar E. Yap in 2002. Notable Bisrock bands include Missing Fileman, Junior Kalat, Phylum, and Scrambled Eggs, among others. Filipino bands or band of and Queche also hail from Cebu, but mostly sing their songs in English, and in the latter's case, also in Tagalog. The Cebu Reggae Festival is a popular Filipino reggae and roots music festival. It now has become one of the Philippines' largest annual reggae festivals. Life Dance and Sinulog Invasion are rave music festivals held in the city in the days before the Sinulog Festival. These music festivals are regarded as among the biggest music festivals in the country. The Cebu Pop Music Festival is an annual music festival, founded in 1980, showcasing Cebuano language pop songs. Like Life Dance and Sinulog Invasion, the music festival is also held in the days before the Sinulog Festival. On Cebuano musical heritage, the Jose R. Gulas Halad Museum in V. Gulas Street, former Manalili, corner D. Jacosalem Street in Cebu City, holds musical memorabilia of Cebuano composers in the early 20th century, the likes of Ben Zabiri, composer of Matad Nila, Inting Ruby, Casadia Ning Tacna, and Mingoy Lopez, Roses Pandan. Sports The Cebu Schools Athletic Foundation, Inc. is based in the city. Its member schools are located within the Metro Cebu area. It is often considered as the strongest collegiate league outside Metro Manila. The city has an active boxing scene. Ala Gym, one of the most famous boxing gyms in the Philippines, is based in the city, at the Banilad District. In addition, Ala Gym's promotion arm, the Ala Promotions, organizes the Pinoy Pride Boxing Series. Global Cebu FC is currently the only professional sports team that is playing in the city. The team plays its home games at the Cebu City Sports Complex. Former professional sports teams include the Cebu City Chiefs, a rugby league team that participated in the Philippines National Rugby League and the Cebu Dragons, a rugby union team in the Philippine Rugby Football Union. The Cebu Gems were also another team that was based in Cebu City. The Gems played their home games at the Cebu Coliseum. Tourism Tourism is a thriving industry in Cebu. It hosted the 1998 ASEAN Tourism Forum. The city also hosted the East Asian Tourism Forum on August 2002, in which the province of Cebu is a member and signatory. Views of Cebu City and its skyline can be seen from villages and numerous gated communities located on its mountainsides. There is a significant number of Filipino Spanish heritage buildings in Cebu City such as Fort San Pedro, Basilica del Santo Niño, Magellan's Cross, and the Cebu Metropolitan Cathedral. The city hosts the Museo Sugbo and Casa Gorordo Museum. The Cebu Taoist Temple is also situated within the city. Infrastructure Transportation The city is readily accessible by air via the Mactan Cebu International Airport located in Lapu-Lapu City which has direct international flights to Hong Kong, Malaysia, Singapore, Japan, China, Taiwan, Dubai and South Korea, charter flights to Russia and domestic destinations. Many international and cargo airlines fly to Cebu. There are also direct transfer flights via the capital's Ninoy Aquino International Airport that readily connect the city to other destinations in the world. The city is served by a domestic and international port which are handled by the Cebu Port Authority. Much of the city's waterfront is actually occupied by the port with around 3.5 kilometers .2 miles of berthing space. The city is home to more than 80% of the country. 
S island vessels traveling on domestic routes mostly in the Visayas and Mindanao, transportation throughout the city and the metropolitan itself is provided by jeepneys, buses and taxis. The Cebu City Government conducted a 2012 feasibility study on implementing Bus Rapid Transit BRT, system that will ease the transportation of the residents in the city and throughout the entire Metro Cebu area. Aimed to serve an estimated 330,000 passengers per day, the project would have a capacity of 176 buses running through 33 stations along Bulacao until Talamban with a link to South Road Properties. The project is currently branded as Transibu and is expected to be fully operational by 2017. As of March 2017 it is already two years late, and the price has rocketed to 9.04 billion pesos $180 million. Utilities The city mostly gets its power from an interconnection grid with the Leyte Geothermal Power Plant, which also powers the majority of the Visayas. Cebu is also powered by a coal-fired thermal plant with two units each generating 52.5-MW and 56.8-MW, a 43.8-MW diesel power plant and 55-MW land-based gas turbine plants located at the Naga Power Complex which is planned to be rehabilitated and replaced with 150-MW coal units by 2016 and to be completed by 2019. Telecommunication facilities, broadband and wireless internet connections are available and are provided by some of the country's largest telecommunication companies. In the 1998, the 15-hectare Anayawan Sanitary Landfill was constructed to ease garbage disposal within the city. After 15 years, the landfill reached its lifespan and the Talisay city government recently allowed Cebu to temporarily dump its garbage in its own 2-hectare landfill. In 2015, Cebu appropriated a total of 2.5 million pesos to close and rehabilitate the landfill at Anayawan. Education Cebu City currently has 11 large universities each with a number of college branches throughout the city and more than a dozen other schools specializing in various courses. Among these schools is the University of San Carlos. It has five campuses around the metropolitan area. It is currently headed by the Society of the Divine Word. The University of the Philippine Cebu, located at Campatha in the district near Lahug currently has eight courses and has plans of expansion and development. The UP Board of Regents elevated the status of UP. Cebu is a constituent university of the University of the Philippines system on 27 October 2016. Another Catholic university in Cebu City is the University of San Jose, Recoletas which was established in 1947. It is currently headed by the Augustinian Recollects and has two different campuses within the city, excluding a new campus outside the city located in the municipality of Balamban. Cebu Normal University was established in 1902 as a provincial normal school, a branch of the Philippine Normal School. It became an independent institution in 1924, a chartered college in 1976, and a university in 1998. The Cebu Doctors' University formerly Cebu Doctors College was granted university status on November 2004. It is the only private school in the Philippines designated a university without having a basic education, preschool, high school curriculum. It caters mainly to courses related to the health services field. It was relocated to a nine-story main building in 2007 at the Cebu Boardwalk, now Dr. P. V. Larazabal Jr. Avenue, in neighboring Mandao City, thus closing its old campus near the then Cebu Doctors. Hospital, now Cebu Doctors. University Hospital. As of 2016, the university now offers senior high school, grades 11 and 12. The University of Cebu's campus in Benilad was opened in June 2002. Its main campus in Sanchenko Street offers degree programs such as a Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, BSIT, PERM, Computer Engineering, BSED and others. Also located in the city is the University of the Visayas, established in 1919 and considered to be the first educational institution who was granted with a university status. 
It was granted an autonomous status by the Commission on Higher Education in 2010 and currently offers basic education and a number of courses in the tertiary level including medical courses, medicine, nursing, dentistry, pharmacy, midwifery, and health care services which are housed in its campus in Benilid area. Other noteworthy institutions in the city include Cebu Institute of Technology, University, Southwestern University, St. Teresa's College, University of Southern Philippines Foundation in Lahug and Mabina, Cebu Technological University, formerly the Cebu State College of Science and Technology, Cebu Institute of Medicine, together with its affiliated school Velez College, Cebu Eastern College, Cebu International School, Sacred Heart School, Ateneo de Cebu, Don Bosco Technical College Cebu, DBTC, and the Colegio de la Inmaculada Concepción. The upcoming Centro Escolar University, Cebu will be the fourth campus of the university after its Manila, Maine, Malolos, and Makati campuses. Cebu City has 68 public elementary schools, 23 national high schools and 28 night high schools. These night high schools are operated by the city government. The Cebu City Public Library and Information Center is the only public library in Cebu. Sister cities International, in alphabetical order of the names of the cities National See also List of parishes in Cebu List of people from Cebu Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Cebu Metro Cebu Notes References Sources External links Cebu City Government Website Cebu City on SharePhilippines.com